everyone welcome back to yet another project video in this project you're going to build your first ever web3 SaaS product for multiple blockchains like solana bitcoin or any evm compatible chains like ethereum polygon binance arbitrum base we have different contract deployed to different blockchain and when the user will utilize our tools our contract we go to charge commission so we're going to make money out of it so now let me give you a quick walkthrough about the tools we have built. So first we're going to explore about the EVM compatible tools means we have built for Ethereum, Binance and other network. Then we're going to move to Solana. After that we're going to move to Bitcoin. So let's connect our wallet first. So click on this and we can easily able to connect our wallet with the MetaMask. So let me type my password and here I'm connected with the wallet. You can see the address and I can click here and I can go back to my profile page. Now by default, we are connected with Ethereum, but you can literally manage the network from here. So you can see this option called network setup. You can click here and here you will find all the networks which is supported here in our platform. You can add more network. All you have to do is to do the configuration, which I will show you how you can do that. So this is the main network, Ethereum, Polygon, Mainnet, Binance and Base. But if you want to interact on the test network, because I have deployed contract on the test network as well. So I can click on this test network and here I have this three test network, but you can add more. So I have deployed contract to Polygon. I have deployed contract to Sofali, which we're going to interact and do the testing. So you can manage the network from here. If I close this one, you can see these are the tools which is available for Ethereum mainnet. If you go back to the Polygon, you will see click here and it will switch you the network and it will update the tools. So right now these tools are available for Polygon mainnet. If you go back to the Binance, it's going to switch the network and it will reflect those tools which is only available on Binance. And that's way how you can manage it. But what I'm going to do is I have deployed the contract to Polygon test network. So I will click on this test and I'm going to the Polygon MOI or Sofali because both of this network has the same tool. So I'll click on this and I will switch back to Polygon MOI. And you can see it has more tool. So the moment it will reload, it's going to simply update all of this. And right now you can see we have multiple tools. So we have this ad network, which I'm going to talk about. We have the tool for token creator. So this tool is also available on the main net. We have also this ICO creator. So I have deployed the ICO creator contract on the Polygon. So anybody can come and they can create their ICO in our platform. And when they will create, we're going to charge a small amount of fee and they can easily able to sell their ICO token through our platform. So which I will show you. Then we have the ICO addresses in which they can simply click and they can see that this is the contract address and they can simply copy and they can verify on the chain and they can see all the contract that how ICO is happening. Then we have this ICO marketplace where you can able to find all the ICO which different users have created. So you can pick a specific ICO and you can simply buy the token. So if I want to pick this one, you can simply go and click on the buy one. Same goes with the Dolothusan and Amit Gando. So you can click on the buy. It will take you to the buy page, which I will show you. Just wait. So this is the ICO marketplace. Then we have the token transfer. You can simply pass the address where you want transfer and the quantity and you can simply transfer the token. Then we have the ETH transfer. And you can able to see that what is your phone you can give the address and amount so you can able to transfer the eth then we have the token explorer so you can paste the address of the token and you can able to see all the details about the token then we have the token balance you can paste the address and you can able to check the balance of any token then we have this add token and this feature is a premium feature so when the user will utilize our feature to add the token in the metamask we're going to charge commission for that so they have to upload the image and they have to provide the address we're going to fetch all the information about the token from the blockchain internally and we're going to add in the metamask then we have this ethereum address so you can easily generate the ethereum address by clicking on this then we have the qr code generator so it's for the ethereum evm compatible chain so these are the feature we have included here now let's talk about the ad network so if i click on this you can see right now we have all of this network for the main net but if you go back to the test network we have this network as a test network so if a user don't have any specific network they can simply click and it will add it to their metamask so what i will do i'll simply click here and i'm going to delete the network so i'll come back here in the binance click here and the binance is deleted from our metamask and it's not reflecting here so what i will do i'll simply close it and open it and now i have to add binance in my metamask all i have to do is to simply click on this add binance it's going to open and it's going to fill out all of these details and simply click on approve and switch and the Binance network is added in our MetaMask. So this is a very powerful tool which you can include to allow multiple network added. So we have added our Binance successfully in our MetaMask. It's reflecting here. Looks good. In the same way, you can pick any network. 
but we already have all of this network. So that's how exactly it works. So what I will do, I'm connected with the Binance. I'm going to switch my network to Polygon MOI. So show you, click on this and click on switch. And it's going to make a call and it's going to fetch out all the information about the contract which we have deployed to Polygon. So it's loading. Now we have this particular feature for token create. So I can click on this and I can able to create my own token. And this is a premium feature. So when the user will use, we're going to charge commission for that. So what I will do, I'll go to click here and I'm going to pick an, this particular logo for my token. And I have to give the name, symbol and supply, which I want to have. So I can click here and I can call it, I can call it the chain coder and the symbol is going to be TBC and I want to have the supply close to this much very big supply now I can click on this create token it's going to create a token on polygon test network amor because that's what we have selected but it will work absolutely fine for all the other network as well and you can see this much fund we are charging for allowing user to create token so it's going to make two transactions so just wait once the transaction will complete it's going to make our token created contract function as going to create the token so just wait the transaction is in the pending state now the transaction is completed the phone is transferred now I have to click on this approve for creating the token and once the transaction will complete this token will be created and it will be added in the list in our application which I will show you and you will get the address and all the details about the token so here the transaction got completed we have created our token successfully so we have created our token successfully now if you come back to the profile click on this and it will take you to the profile page and it's going to pull out all the information from the contract so here we have included more feature so we have this network setup we add network after that we have this create ico and here you will find all the icos which you have created in this particular contract with this particular account so i have created three different ico you can see the supply token addresses creator and if anybody wants to buy or even you want to buy you can simply click here and you can buy it i'll show you how it's look now i'm going to simply close that one so this is the create ico now we have this ico addresses if you click here you can able to see the ico current ico which is active and which you have used to create then we have this created token so all the token which you will create and which we have created just now that's all you will find here so you can click here and here you will find that i have created three different token so you can able to find the network name that on which network you have created so this token created on solana blockchain then this one is a polygon moi and polygon moi you can able to see the supply and the font you can copy the addresses copy the hash and you can able to simply explore so all the token which you will create that's all going to reflect here and this data is coming from the local storage so once you remove your local storage this data will go on because we are trying to make it 100 percent decentralize everything so here you will find all the token which you have which you will create now we have this added metamask so if i click here you will see that right now we haven't added any token in our metamask yet but when you will add the token in your metamask it's going to reflect here which i will show you so let's check that one so i'll come back in the created and this is the one which we have created just now so i'm going to simply copy the address this is the token address with the address and now i can come back to this particular function called add token click here we have to upload the image of our logo it's going to upload to the ipfs and here i have to provide the address and it's going to pull out all the details about the token internally from the blockchain and we can able to see so this is the name this is the supply this is the symbol and the name and all of that now all i have to do is to complete click on this add to metamask and we're going to charge money for this it's not our free features it's a premium one so when the user will click on this add to metamask it's going to make two transactions so first it will open the metamask and we have to pay this much money for allowing them to add in the metamask so click on this confirm every single thing is customizable i'll show you everything just wait so once it will complete the transaction is going to open the metamask and you can simply have an option for adding so you can see we got this one click one more time and here we got this one so you can see the logo symbol and the supply click on this add token and it's going to be added in the metamask click on this token and here you can see it's added so it's a premium feature because we are using ipfs as a storage so that's how user can add it so simply close this one now if you come back to the added to metamask you can able to see that this is the one which you have added so that's all is going to reflect here so we have seen all of that now we can come back to the created wallet then we have this created wallet and here you will find all the wallets which you will create using this particular platform so we have created wallet for the ethereum solana and bitcoin so you can simply copy and you can utilize it in your crypto wallet that's all the wallet which you will create that's all you will find here 
So that's the wallet section. Now we have this token creator, which we already seen. Then we have this ICO creator. So if we want to create an ICO, we have to pay fee for that. So what I will do, I'll simply click here and I have this particular token in my MetaMask. Come back here and this is the one which I'm going to use for creating an ICO. So I click on it. I need the address of the token. Simply copy this one. And that's the only thing I need. So I'll click on this and paste the address. It's going to fetch out all the information about this token. So you can see this is the name. This is the supply and this is the symbol. And I have to set the price of this particular ICO. So I want to sell this particular token for something very less like this is. I can click on this create ICO. So again, we're going to charge money for allowing user to create ICO and selling their token. So this much fund we are charging. You can charge any amount. It's totally up to you. If you open this one, it's going to make two transactions first for transferring the fund. And after that, it's going to register into an ICO. So just wait. So here the transaction got completed and we have to simply call one more time, approve and confirm. And this is going to list the ICO in our smart contract, which is deployed on Polygon. So just wait. It's happening and it's going to create soon. And here the transaction got completed and we have successfully created our ICO. So click on this close. And now if you come back to the created ICO, you will find that this is the ICO which we have created. So simply reload the page because this time we are getting the information from the contract and it's going to be stored in the internally. So click on this created ICO and you will see this is the ICO which we have created just now. The blockchain coder, TBC, there is a zero supply and you can able to see the balance here. If I want to simply click on this buy, so we can come back to the ICO buying page and here we can able to find all the details about the ICO of this particular token. So you can see the symbol, you can see the name, you can see the address, you can see the total supply, you can see the price and currently I am the owner of this particular token and this much token I already have of this particular TBC. But there is no token available in our ICO contract. That's why it's zero and right now there is no option is available for withdrawal and for buying. So if I come back here and if I pick the different ICO which has some token, so click here and you can see this Amit Gardu or Dalat Hussain has this much token. So I'll simply click here, Hussain, and it will take me here in the ICO page and there I can able to simply buy the token and I have created this particular ICO so I can able to withdraw the token as well. So if I want to withdraw the token, so let's withdraw that. So I can say withdraw. 35 token, click on this and it's going to withdraw the token from our ICO contract and this token will be transferred in your wallet address because you are the creator. So those who will create, it will go back to their own address when they will withdraw that token from the ICO contract. So once the transaction will complete, you will see this data will change and you will have the token back to your wallet address. So just wait, let the transaction be complete and the transaction is completed successfully and it's going to stop the loader and the data will update it soon in the UI part. So you can see it's updated to 900. So this is how you can withdraw. And the moment I will change my wallet address, this UI component will be updated. So if I click here and if I go back to the account number one, which is not the owner of the token, so click here and the UI component is got updated and we got that update withdraw function removed from the UI component. So this is what the normal user will see. They can put the amount of token they which they want to buy and you can able to see the stat. So currently you don't hold any token. So what I will do, if I try to buy the token, so let's try to buy at least 10 token and this much fund I have to pay. So click on this buy token, it's going to make a call to our smart contract and we're going to purchase the token. So click on this, confirm and the transaction will complete. You can open the MetaMask to see the transaction and everything will be updated in the UI component as well. So just wait, it's in the pending state. Once it will complete, the data will reflect. And here the transaction got completed and you can see it's updated in our UI component. Right now we hold 10 token and this went down to 890 token. So this is how the user can buy your token. As a creator of the ICO, you can able to withdraw and update. And if you want to promote your ICO which you have created, you can simply copy the URL and you can post in different social media platform and talk about and share with your users so they can know and they can simply come and they can buy it. So that's how this particular ICO page would look like. Now let's come back to the profile. So you have seen the ICO buying, selling and withdrawing. That looks wonderful. If you click here, we have multiple ICO going on. So you can see right now my account number, account number one and I haven't created any ICO with this particular account. So I'm going to switch back to the account number two and it's going to change and make a call to our smart contract and it's going to reflect the data here. So this data is coming from real time. 
you can simply go here and you can see that this is the ICO we have created and there is no token available in the ICO contract for this particular one. So I have to transfer the token to the ICO contract so it will be available and the user can purchase it. So what I have to do is I'm in the account number two and I'm the owner. So what I will do, I'll click here in the created token and I'm going to get the address of the token we have created. So this is the one. Now I have to click on this created token and here we have the token. I have to get the address, copy this one. Now I have a function for transferring the token. So I can simply come back here in the token transfer. I can give the address of the token which I want to transfer. So I can paste here and I have to get the address of the ICO contract as well. Okay, my bad. So first thing what I will do is I'll simply come here and this is the contract in which I have to send the token. So it will be available in the ICO. So I will simply copy this one and I'm going to keep in a new tab. Now I can come back here. I got it. Now I have to click on this create a token and I have to get the token address. Close it. Now I have to click on the transfer token. I have to give the address of the token which I want to transfer to the ICO contract for sale. So it's going to fetch out all the information like name, symbol and the balance. Now I have to get the address of the ICO contract. So this is the one where I have to send the fund. I can simply paste here and the quantity I can pass. So I want to send close to 500 token. I can click on this transfer token and it's going to make a call and it's going to transfer the token to the ICO contract and the token will be available and user can start purchasing. So simply click on confirm and the transaction will complete soon. So just wait and here is in the pending state and the transaction is completed. You should always double check. You can click on this and you can always check on the explorer because sometimes MetaMask failed to pick the transaction. So. The transaction is completed. Now, if I close this one, if I come back here in the ICO, created ICO, you can see the fund will be reflected here soon. So for that, I have to simply load a browser because this process takes a little bit of time. So click on this create ICO and here you can see it's available 500. Now, if I click on this buy now, it will take me to the ICO page where I can start buying this particular token or anybody can buy the token. So here we have this much. This is the one. This is my token. So if I want to buy, let's say 10 token, you will see the fund will go down here and it will went up here. So click on this buy now and I'm purchasing my own token, which I have listed just now in the ICO. So simply click on this confirm and this money which we are paying, it will go straight away to the creator of the ICO. So we are not keeping any fund within the contract. So entire fund transaction is happening address to address between the creator and the buyer. There is no fund is going to be inside the contract. That's the thing which you have to keep in mind. And that's the architecture is one of the best architecture which you can design. So here the transfer and buying process is got completed once the and here we have successfully bought it. It's went up to 10 and here you can see it's went down to 10. We can easily able to withdraw the token as well. So let's come back to the profile. So we have seen the ICO as well. We have seen the ICO creator. You can click here in the ICU marketplace where you will find all the ICU created by different user. Then we have seen the token transfer. You can also transfer the ether. So right now you can see I have this much fund. If I want to transfer any fund to any specific address, I can give that address and amount and I can transfer that. Then we have this explore tokens. So I can click here and I can pass the token address and it's going to give me the, all the details. So let me come back here. I can click here and I can click the address. And let's click on this token explore and paste here and it's going to give me all the details about this specific token which we have created so it's taking a little bit of time and we got all these details that's how you can check if you want to check the token balance you can click here paste the address and you can check the balance of the token if you want to add which we have already seen that how you can add it in your metamask and if you want to generate your own wallet address you can click so you can click on this ethereum address and click on this generate and it's going to generate the address for you so you can copy that one and you can also check right up here in the created wallet. So click here and here you will find the one which you have created just now. So that's how you can create. So these are the feature is available on the Polygon test network. Now I have to do the testing on the Sofali. So click here, go to the test and click on the Sofali because I have deployed the same contract to the Sofali network. So if anybody wants to use the Sofali chain for creating all the transaction, they can do that. So here we are connected with the Sofali blockchain. And if you check the created ICO, you can see this is the only ICO is live on Sofali, which I have created from this particular account. But on the Polygon, I have created four. If you want to see the created token and here you will find all the tokens. 
so it's going to keep all the token because this data is coming from the local storage so this token we have created for solana and this is for the polygon if you come back to the ICU address, so this address is changed because this time we are interacting with the Sofale, not for the polygon. So it's 79, which I will show you. So this address is also changed. If you talk about the MetaMask, this is the one which we have added. If you have to see here on the created, so there you will find all the world you have created. If you check the token creator, so you can easily able to create token on the Sofali blockchain as well. So let's create one more token for Sofali. So this time I'm going to come here and I'm going to pick this. The blockchain coder so this time we are creating the token on the sofali test network so i'll say the chain coder i'll say tbc and i can give the supply to this much and click on this create token and it's going to make a call and as an owner of the contract we're going to charge this much phone so i have to simply click on this confirm and it's going to make two transactions so open up and you can see the transaction is happening and we are connected with the Sofali and this much fund I have and the transaction is completed and I have to click one more time it's confirm and here the transaction in the pending mode you can simply copy the address and you can able to verify your transaction on Sofali chain so just wait and here the transaction got completed and we have created our token on Sofali so if I close this one if I come back to the created token you can see this is the token we have created supply you can copy you can come back to the ether scan and you can go back to the network so folly open to a new tab and you can paste the address to see all the details about the token you have created on so folly so you can able to find the transaction just happened 30 one second ago and the name and the symbol that's all you will find so it's working for all the blockchain like this is the so folly that's how you can create if you come back to the create ICO, this is the only one we have created. But if I want to create on the ICO on this particular one, so Fali, I can do that. So I can simply come here. I can simply paste the address of my token. It's going to fetch out the information from the Sofali ecosystem. So this is the multi-contract interaction we have. As per the different blockchain, this function will work. Okay, here I can set the price. So I can set the price to very low and click on this create ICO. And this data will reflect in our contract so i have to confirm the transaction again this much money we are charging for creating an ico which will go to our wallet straight away because we are charging commission and it's a premium service which we are providing so user can create their ico and they can sell their token so just wait and here the transaction will going to complete soon just a moment we are making the transaction and now we have to confirm the transaction one more time so click here and we have to click on this confirm and it's going to interact it's going to register the entire token and its detail within our ICO contract and it will be available so user can start purchasing so it looks good just wait and here the transaction got completed we have successfully created our ICO so close here if you come back to the created ICO you can able to find the details so it takes a little bit time you can simply reload the page and now you can click here to create an ICU and you can see this is the ICU which we have registered just now and there is no fund available in both of these ICU so I can able to transfer if I want to transfer I can simply get the address of the token so let's transfer this one the one we have created just now so I'll simply close this one I have to get the address of the ICU so simply copy this one and I'm going to simply replace with the new one now I can come back to the application, close this one. I can get the created token. This one is the created token and come back to the ICO and copy the token address, copy it. And now I have to transfer the token. So I'll simply come back here. I can simply paste the token address and I can able to see the fund is available. I'm going to simply take this and I'm going to come back here and I have to send this, this contract, ICO contract and I send, let's say thousand token click on transfer so it's working for a different blockchain you can see how smoothly we are interacting with the contract which we have deployed to so falling and the transaction will complete and the token will be transferred to the ICO contract and user can start purchasing the token and you can start promoting your token so just wait once the transaction will complete it's going to register and transfer the token to the ICO contract which is on the Sofali chain so here the transaction got completed okay now you can simply close this one you can come back here reload the page so it's going to fetch out the information from the contract and if you click on this created ico and you can see this much token is available now you can click here it will take you to the 
landing page from there you can easily able to buy and withdraw the token if you come back to the token marketplace click here right now there is only two ico available on the sofali chain click here and it will take you here and you can able to buy so, so you can buy your own token or you can simply withdraw if i want to withdraw let's say withdraw 50 token click on this withdraw and i can able to withdraw the token from that so let's click on this confirm and the token will be withdraw and it will add it back to my wallet address and it will update right up here in our ui component so just a moment soon the transaction will complete and you will see how smoothly everything is working fine and finally the transaction is completed and you can see it's updated in our ui component so you have withdraw you can simply buy that so come back to the profile and these are the function is available it's exactly the same which is available on the polygon so you can keep that in mind so this looks good this is for the sofali so if i come back to the network section so in these two network i have deployed the contract i haven't deployed on this come back to the main network you have to do the, exactly the same thing all you have to do is to simply deploy the contract on the respective network and you have to simply provide the address and it's going to work exactly the way we are testing on the test network so this is how it will work so we have tested all the tools which is available for polygon test network and so farly but we have some extra tools for the main network so if what i will do i'll click here in the network section and you can see you can interact with any blockchain all you have to do is to simply deploy the contract to that particular blockchain and it will work exactly fine the way we have tested on polygon and so farly so come back to the main network and here you can see we have this main network you have to do the exactly the same thing deploy the contract provide the address and it will work absolutely fine but each of this blockchain has a specific feature we have included so let's start with the ethereum so click on this ethereum and if i come back to the switch network i'm connected with the ethereum one so simply close this one so these tools are available on ethereum blockchain you can see i haven't deployed the ico contract on the ethereum that's why it's not reflecting here so once you will deploy the contract you have to simply activate it and it's going to reflect here now we have a bunch of this feature so let's start with the bottom so the very first tool we have is this liquidity finder you can click here and you can paste the address of both the token and the fee and you can able to get the pool address so what i will do i'll come back to the uniswap and here i have the pool for dai token and usd token if i want to get the pool address all i have to do is to simply provide these two details so let's click on this dai and i can simply copy the address I can simply paste as a first token it's going to make a call and it's going to fetch out all the information so this time we are interacting with the actual ethereum blockchain not test i can come back here now i can get this usd token copy the address i can come back here and paste here and it's going to fetch out the information that i don't have any fund for usdt and stable coin now i have to check the fee so this is the fee which i have to provide 0.01 so i can come back here and the fee is going to be like 100 simply click on this check pool and it's going to make a call to the ethereum blockchain and it's going to give you the address of that particular pool so you have successfully fetched this information you can see like five double set triple seven if you come back here if you go to the pool you can see five double seven so it will be able to help you to find the address of that particular pool so we got it so it's working absolutely fine now come back to the contract owner so if you want to find a contract and you want to check the owner the creator of that particular contract you can able to find that very easily so what i will do i'll come back to the ether scan and here i have this particular token called token thar usdt and i want to find the owner of this particular token so all i have to do is simply copy the address i have to copy the address and that's what i have to provide here so the moment i will simply paste the address is going to fetch out all the information about the token so this is the address of the token then we have the token creator address so this is the address which created this particular thar usdt token and this is the transaction hash so you can simply copy this one you can simply come back to the explorer paste the address transaction has and hit enter and you can able to find all the information about the transaction which got done and you can able to see all of that so that's how you can able to find any contract owner and its transaction hash so we have seen this you can click on this ethereum price and it's going to give you the latest price of the token in bitcoin and usdt so in this is the usd price of ethereum and this is the time when it's got updated last time and this is the bitcoin so you can able to find out the latest price of the bitcoin and ethereum currently so that's what we have here then we have this salty contract and you can literally find out any contract source code if it's verified you can easily able to get the source code of the contract so all you have to do is to get the address so i can come back here and i have this particular token and i want to get the contract of this particular token so i have to get the address copy come back here and i have to simply paste here so the moment i will do is going to fetch out the entire contract of this particular token and that's what i can see 
That's the entire contract you can able to find here. You can able to get the name of the contract. That's all. You can simply copy and you can utilize this one. So that's how you can able to find the contract source code. So I'm going to simply copy this one. And now the next feature we have is this contract API. So if you want to get the contract API, you can simply paste the address and it's going to give you the contract API. And this is the entire API of this particular contract. We got it. So we close this one. Then we have this ENS name finder. So if you want to find out the ENS name of any wallet address on the Ethereum ecosystem, you can simply get it. All you have to do is to provide the address name. So I can come back here on the Etherscan. I can go on the home page and there you will find bunch of accounts which has some of the address, some of the name. So I want to get this particular name. So you click here. So this name is registered on this particular address. So simply copy this one, come back here and paste the address. And it's going to give you the name of that particular ENS finder. So just wait. It's going to fetch out the information from the Ethereum and here we got this one. So this particular address is registered with this ENS name. So it's also working fine. If you come back to the Ethereum address creator, you can come here and you can simply generate your wallet for Ethereum mainnet. You can copy and you can start utilizing it or you can take a snapshot and you can start sharing. Then we have seen this add token. So you can easily able to add the token on the mainnet as well. You can simply upload, give the address and you have to pay the fee which we have seen. Then we have the token balance so you can simply paste the address and you can able to fetch the balance of the token so currently this particular token is not available on the chain so you can check the balance you can click here and you have to provide the token address so i can simply come back here i can click on the die and i can click on the address i can come back to my application i can simply paste and it's going to give me the entire details about the token so this is the dice table and i have zero fun in it same goes with the token explorer you can paste the address and you can able to find all the details about the token which we can get it. You can simply transfer it. So we are actually in the main end and I don't have any fund. So I cannot able to transfer. You can do the same thing with the token transfer, which we have seen how we can do that. But I'm not able to do it on the main end because I don't have any token on the main end. Same with the created wallet. You can able to see all the wallets which you have created and you can utilize it. Here we have this add to MetaMask. So we have used this one and added. And this information is coming from the local storage. We have this token creator, so you can utilize this token creator on the main net as well. It will work absolutely fine. Then we have this add network and you can able to add any network. So these are the main net and these are the test net. So you can simply click and it will update it in your MetaMask. So it will work absolutely fine. So this is the Ethereum tools we have included. If I come back here, if I go to the Polygon main net, if I click on the switch, you will see in the Polygon main net, we have only these many tools. So some of the tools are quite similar, but about the details, about the ENS name finder, about the price. Those are the premium things which is only available on the Ethereum. So these tools will work absolutely fine on the Polygon mainnet. If I go to the Binance, click on the switch and so in the Binance, we have these many tools are activated. So same thing with the base. If you click here, switch and we are switched to base network. And right now these tools are activated on base network and you can easily able to utilize it. So this is for the mainnet. And if you come back to the test network, we have already seen that this one is Polygon and we have deployed our contract to Polygon. So we have a bunch of tools available. So that's all looks absolutely great. So we have a bunch of tools here. So many tools we have. If you come back here, if you go to the Sofali and you can able to switch and that data will be reflect here for the Sofali blockchain and you can able to do that. And it will work absolutely fine. If you go to the home page, it's going to update the entire UI in across all the pages. So we are on the Sofali and that's all you will find. So this is how you can utilize this particular tool on the EVM compatible change, whether it's a Polygon, Binance, Ethereum, Avalanche, Base, you have seen how exactly it's working. All you have to do is to provide the address of the contract and it will work fine on the mainnet. So we have seen the EVM compatible chain. Now let's talk about the Solana. So in Solana, we have this feature and this Solana ecosystem work independently, not rely on the connection on the state management so you can come back here you can click on this solana network and from here you can able to manage the network so you can click here and you can disconnect and you are disconnected with the application but you can simply click here close this one and you can pick the wallet which you want you can have more option but i have phantom which i prefer most so click on the phantom and i'm connected with a phantom if i click here i'm connected successfully and here you have this two option whether you can interact on the test dev which we're going to do or you can do on the same thing on the mainnet. All you have to do is to simply click on this and it will be activated. You can devnet, you can activate that. So I'm going to do the transaction on the devnet because I don't have real fund on the mainnet. So click on the devnet. 
if you come back to the airdrop you can see the balance you can able to claim the airdrop so if i click on this claim one day airdrop it's going to fail the transaction because in the morning i have claimed it and this much fund is i already have but the moment i will switch the network is going to update the entire state because it's work independently so click here if you come back here you can see this fund will be zero because right now we are interacting with the main net so it's work absolutely fine now if i come back here go to devnet close this then we have this solana token creator click here and you can upload your logo name symbol supply decimal point description and we are charging one soul for you allowing user to create their token on solana blockchain i'll show you how you can do that then we have this particular function called transfer soul so you can easily able to transfer the soul to any particular address so i can come back here and right now let me get into my wallet address so i'm in this particular account so i'll click here and i'm on this account i will come back to the account number here and this much i have found i have so i'll simply copy this address copy the address now i can come back to the same account so this is the one and if i reload the page because whenever you change account make sure to reload the page so it's going to manage the state let's see we are connected yes we are connected now i want to transfer so i can come here paste the recipient address and i want to transfer the fund close to one so and you can click on this transfer fund and you can able to transfer the fund to that particular wallet address minus one so confirm and the transaction is completed you can come back here and you can go back to the account number one to verify that you have successfully transfer and it's four so i can come back here in this one and you can see the fund went down to four so it's working fine that's how you can transfer now it's come that's how you can transfer now if you want to create a solana wallet you can click here and you can click on this generate wallet and it's going to give you this barcode address and the private key you can simply copy and you can simply import in your provider so i can simply copy this one and i can come back here in my phantom and i can go back to the accounts plus and i can simply import my account so import private key and i can give the name so i'll say time testing you can call it whatever you want you can give the private key and here we got it it's reflecting here click on import and you have successfully imported your account and there is a zero fund you can click here and you can copy the address it's paste and this is what exactly have f u y and if you check the application we have f u i so that's how you can create now if you want to generate the barcode for the solana you can generate that so simply click here and you can paste the address and click on this generate qr code and it's going to generate you and so you can simply scan on your mobile device so that's that the tool we have on the solana i'll just show you how you can create just wait and we have for the bitcoin so if you want to generate the wallet address for the bitcoin you can click here and it's going to generate and you will have the app private key and the address you can also generate the barcode so you can let's generate one more copy this one and you can paste here and you can generate the barcode for the for the wallet address and it looks fine so that looks good if you come back to the profile you can able to see we are here on the profile page and there you will find all the details which you have created just now so if you go back to the created wallet you will find that this is the one we have created for the bitcoin that's also look good find here now if i come back here we have the solana section and now we can test this out so now we're going to test our solana token creator but make sure to check your network connection and pick the right network where you want to create your token so i'm going to create on my devnet and i'm using this particular account so if i close this one i have this much for nine soul i just now claim a airdrop from this solana playground airdrop five soul as an airdrop so you can come back here and you can simply connect your wallet and you can click on this airdrop and it's going to give you five soul you can do in this way or you can use our application which going to give you one airdrop so if i make a claim i'll get this error because just now i have got it so it's working fine now let's create our token so click on this and i have to upload my logo so i'll click on this and i will go back to this one and click on upload it's going to upload our image to the ipfs now i have to give the name so i'll say the chain coders new i'll have a symbol called new and uh, let's say supply is going to be something very big and now i will have a decimal point and i will have my description so i'll come back here and i'll get this description from my pro course i hope you guys have checked that and i want to have a less supply now i have to pay one soul for the fee so i click on this and it's going to make a call to our phantom wallet and we have to confirm the transaction so this much fund we are paying to the admin of the application so click on confirm and once the transaction will complete you will see 
our token will have so we have to confirm the transaction this must supply we are passing and this is the transaction cost so simply click on confirm and the transaction is completed and we have created our token so you can click here you can open a new tab and you can see that you have created your token you have created your token so this will take a little bit time to process and it will reflect here you can able to find all the information about it so come back here so you have successfully created a token now you can simply open up your phantom wallet and you will see that token you have created will reflect here so here we got it the blockchain code is new and we have this much supply you can click here you can go back to the view and it's going to open in the new tab and you can able to see all the details about your token so this is the address of the token this is the sole balance which the account you have used and you will find the total number of supply you have initialized and everything so there is one transaction happened and this much fund we have paid so we have successfully created our token and it's reflecting in the phantom wallet so when you will create a token is going to reflect in your phantom wallet and you can able to use that so every single feature is working absolutely fine it's 100 percent responsive for all the devices so that's how it's going to look you can see we have a nice card this looks wonderful now if you go to the very small screen this is how it's going to look if you click here it's going to have a nice drop down and looks good this is the double card we have if you click on that you can able to see nice overflow we have and you can able to see the created wallet that's all you can see it's 100 percent responsive this if you go a little bigger this is how it's going to look because we have followed the grid structure in the project token you can upload you can transfer you can check the metamask nice overflow we have so every single thing is working fine nice over effect we have and you can come back to the bottom you can see this is the banner section where we are promoting and explaining about our tools we have multiple component section you can click here and you can come back to the solana and you can click here and you can able to send emails so let me send so i will send emails and i can send the message so i can come here copy the text and i can simply paste here and send message so anybody can contact you and send message as a feedback so every single thing is looking fine you can come back to the pricing page and there you can highlight the pricing the charges you are charging for different products so right now i haven't given the charges but you can simply specify the amount we are charging for ico the token creation the adding token that's all you can highlight so we have this explanatory section an information section where you can highlight so this is what exactly we're going to build. I hope you guys have understood that how exactly things are coming together. It's 100% responsive for different screen sizes. You can open and you can close. You can close this one. You can open. You can open this one and you can upload. So everything is looking fine. Well, we can simply log out from our application. Come here and you can simply log out. You can switch the network. We are already into the Ethereum and reload the page. And when you will come, this is how it's going to look. But the moment you will switch back to the place where we have deployed our contract is going to trigger automatically so click here and it's going to trigger automatically it will change it will log in and it's going to fetch out all the information it will tell you to switch and now we are connected with the polygon test network and you can come here and you can able to see the ICO contract and you can able to see the marketplace and all the details so every single thing is looks absolutely wonderful I hope you guys have understood that how our application is working now let me show you the complete source code of this project that how we have designed the project what are the architecture we have follow how we are communicating with different blockchain and where you have to replace the addresses when you will deploy your own ICO contract which we're going to build in this particular project so I'm going to open my remix ID and this is what exactly we will have in the final source code in the final source code so this is the exact thing we're going to build in the complete project and when you will take the final source code this is what exactly you will get in that you will not have this next year's file so I'm going to delete it and I'm going to delete this particular folder as well node modules and I'm going to stop the application and I'm going to stop the application clear my terminal and this is what you will get so when you will get a zip file make sure to unzip that in that you will have all of this once you're done with that now the very first thing you have to do is come back to packages and file and there you will find all the information about the packages and the setup we have done so this section will contain the information about the version of your application this is the name we have given to our tool and here we have different script for dev environment for build for start and lint and here we have this dependency which we are using in our project so we have multiple 
packages we are using this one is for form spare for sending email we are using metaplex for token details and token creation this is the next JS version we are using here we have this open zeppelin because we are using open zeppelin for creating our erc20 token so if you come back to the contract in that you will have this erc20 token and this is the library we are using for creating the token but you can use remix id which we're going to use for creating but i'm just giving you this additional contract so you can simply copy and paste in your remix id and generate your erc20 token which i will show you now come back to the package json file and we are using this spl token for transfer or getting the details then we have different wallet adapter for phantom wallet base react react ui and wallet then we are using this solana web 3 js it's a very powerful package which allow you to interact with the phantom wallet and solana ecosystem then we have the access library which allow us to send and make requests to our ipfs we have this bitcore library for generating bitcoin wallet we have this bs58 which allow us to convert the solana addresses into a importable addresses in the metamask because when you will get the address of solana when we're going to generate the solana address is going to come into the bit form so we have to convert that then we have this ether package we have this in number we have next then we have this qr code generator then we have this react react dom and we are using this particular version of drop zone then we have the toaster for showing the notification we are using icon library we have using web3 models and we have this zen stand which will going to create an pricing section so this are the packages we are using i hope everything is clear so before you install the packages you have to check your node version so i'm using this particular one type node in node dash v and take your npm version so i'm using the latest node version and latest npm version make sure you have to upgrade your to latest one or if you have the old version it will work absolutely fine but if it's create any problem then make sure to upgrade to the updated one so that's the first thing you have to do after that you have to simply install the library simply type npm i or install both will work fine hit enter and this is going to install all the libraries very quickly you can see i'm getting a lot of depreciated depreciated warnings because some of the packages version we are using it's in the old version so i have done the customization as per that you don't need to upgrade anything just install as it is and here you will get couple of command it's telling you to run this fixed force don't do that if you do that it's going to change the versions here and that's going to create a problem so simply clear it your terminal once you're done with that after that you have to start the application so if you come back to the script here here we have the build command this is the command you have to run npm run dev and here we are started our application and it looks fine just ignore this warnings now you can come back to the browser and reload the page and here it's working absolutely fine you can see i'm already connected with the metamask connected with the metamask that's why it's loading the data for the polygon but what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch my network and ethereum and this is what exactly you will get when you will come and open the application in a browser so i'm going to simply log it so this is what you will see now come here click on this and you have to switch back to the polygon because the contract i have deployed i'm going to provide you the same contract address in the final code so you can interact so simply type my password make sure you have to type your i have to click on switch and i have switched the network to polygon if you don't have this network added in your metamask then make sure to click here and you can pick the network so you can simply click and add in your metamask so once you do that now you can able to have all the information about the contract so you can come back to the ico marketplace and you can see that these are the contract we have already created you will also get the same data if you come back to the token key it's going to work because you have to provide your own api key and secret key in all the places you have to provide your own addresses which i will tell you how you can do that then it will work but you can able to read all of these details even you can able to create the ico make sure you have to give your token address which is deployed on polygon test network and price and you can register every single thing is working fine now let me tell you what are the changes you have to do to launch with a fresh contract and you can set your own pricing own addresses so come back to the code and this is what we have i'm going to simply close this one close this one and i'm going to stop the application for a time being and this is the entire code we have for our project so the very first folder we have is the component inside that we have all the component we have designed for all the four pages so this is the bitcoin component and that we have this one for wallet generation you don't need to do anything here just leave it as it is now we can come back to the ethereum 
which has a lot of component because we are providing most of the services on the ethereum and evm compatible blockchain so we have this add network here you can add multiple networks so you can see we have this main network and we have this test network if you want to add any other network you have to provide these details so this one is for ethereum this one is for polygon mainnet this one is for binance mainnet and this one is for base mainnet you can pick any other network and you have to provide it here so sim simply replicate it and provide all of these details like explore url rpc url decimal point eth then we have the images you have to keep back the images here in the public folder you can see in the logo i have keep the images and that's the path you have to provide you can call whatever you want to the chain and here we have the id because this chain and this id is very important because as you can see the moment we are changing the network it's automatically getting triggered so this chain id is very important and you have to provide the relevant chain id for that specific network so that's how you can add other networks so this one is the main network and here we have the list of test networks so currently i have this three test network polygon sofoli and base sofoli so that's what we are exactly rendering here this is the add one now i can come back to the add token you don't need to do anything here let's let it be like this you don't need to touch anything then we have this button this is the global button component we have used then we have the contract avi again you don't need to do anything in here we have the contract owner token create token and we have all the function we have built then we have this create wallet ENS finder, Ethereum, wallet generator, ICO address, ICO creator, ICO marketplace, input, liquidity finder, metamask, network, solidity contract, token balance, token creator, token explorer, token transfer, transfer ether, user, ICO. So you don't need to do anything in here. So these are the component for Ethereum. And here we have this icon which we are using in our project for upload card and network so simply close this one and close this one now come back to the solana in that you will see we are providing different features like airdrop token creation solana network solana wallet and solana transfer and here we have couple of global component this one is for banner where you can simply give your branding which we are highlighting here then we have contact and here you have to provide your key we are using forms fair for sending email you have to create your account and you have to provide your api key here which i will show you how you can do that here we have the footer we don't need to do anything here we have the header so here we are managing the account change you don't need to do anything in here as well we have the loader and we have the qr code which is the global component so this is all the component we're going to build together in the project and you will get in the final source code so simply close this one now the next folder we have is this context inside that we have couple of important files and the api we have the very first file called api.js and here we are making all the api calls because in the project we are using etherscan api for getting all the details like getting the contract api getting the contract source code getting the contract creator ens name and let us price so all you have to do is to simply provide this detail which is coming from dot env file which i will show you how you have to replace so again you don't need to replace anything in here just leave it as it is then we have this constants this is the entire code we have here in the constant file which keep the important feature in our application so we are importing the environment variables and we are building important logics which keep the track that which network user is interacting with so the very first thing we are using these libraries we are importing the abase of different contract like factory contract erc rent token contract and we have our own aba of our smart contract you don't need to do any changes here just let it be like this here we are importing all the addresses of main network here we are importing the addresses of the test network and here we have the factory and here we have the abis which we have taken as a variable so we can utilize in throughout our application and here you can see we have this led variables and this particular address we're going to update when the user will interact with the test network or main network or any network all you have to do is to simply update the address here of that particular contract so user can simply interact and here we have the factory address again you don't need to do that anything then we have the pinata api key and secret key which we are importing which we're going to use it in our application for uploading images then we have the solana variables where we are highlighting where we want to receive the fund and we are charging the fee and that's all coming from our environment variable and here we have the addresses and other fee structure for other blockchains like polygon ethereum that's all you can do and that's all coming from our dot env file so you don't need to do anything in here 
I will show you that what are the changes you have to do. So we have built all of this function. These are the regular function which allow us to interact, getting balance, transfer the token. That's all we have done here. Now we can come back to the next file called index.js and here we have built all the logic. Again, you don't need to do anything in here. Just let it be like that. But make sure to go through each one of the function which we're going to build together. But check that. So we have all of the function which we have built. So here we have this check if wallet connected, connect wallet, deploy, ERC20 token, get all pre-sales, get all user pre-sales, singles token, ICU creator, buy, token transfer, withdraw token, transfer token, transfer ether. And here we are simply exporting all the function and the variables, all the key pairs we are exporting so we can utilize in our application. So that's our context. Now, if you come back to the contract in that, you will have two contracts. So this is the ERC20 token contract. So you can simply copy and paste in your Remix ID and deploy to create your own token. So you can call whatever you want as a name. You can give a symbol and you can simply initialize a supply. But this is our main contract, which allows us to create an ICO marketplace. So we have this entire ERC20 interface and this is the entire contract we have. Don't make any changes. It's absolutely fine. All you have to do is to deploy and provide the ABI. But if you make any changes in the contract, even a small dot or even a spelling, then make sure to provide an updated ABI. So when you will deploy, you will get an ABI and that's the ABI you have to provide here. So we can interact in our front end, which I will show you how you can do that. Just wait. So this is the contract Here we have the node module. Don't need to do anything in here. Here we have the pages. So we have multiple pages. This is for the sales page. This is for index page. This is the pricing page and this is the profile page. So again, you don't need to do anything in here. Just leave it as it is. Close this one. Then we have the public in that you will find all the assets. So here we have all the assets. Then we have the logos and here we have a couple of global icons. So that's all I have provided. Close this one. Now we have the Solana because this is the separate context management I have built for Solana. This context management is only for EVM compatible blockchain and this one is for Solana. So there you will find the context in that we have this auto connector. We have the context provider, we have the network configuration and we have the hooks in that we have this query. You don't need to do anything. We have the models, we have the store in which we are managing the balance and the network notification. Close this one, close this one. And here we have the utils in that we have the explore and notification. Just leave it as it is. You don't need to do any changes. This is the Solana context management. Here we have the styles. So this is the entire CSS, the custom CSS we have written in the project that's all you will find you don't need to do any changes here and now come back to the environment variable this one is a very important place where you have to provide all the important details so the very first thing we have to do is you have to get your own etherscan api key and endpoint so this is the endpoint which you can use it but you have to get your own api key because in the final source code i'm not going to provide my so to get your own etherscan api key all you have to do is to come back here open a new tab type ether scan you will come here make sure to create your account i already have my account so i will simply log into my account so here i'm logged into my account successfully you can see my name is reflecting here now the one thing you have to do is come back to api key and from here you can able to generate your own api key i have generated a couple of api key so make sure to click here and you have to give whatever name you want i'll say let's call this one web3 tools and click on this api create api key and it's going to create an api key for you and here we got it all you have to do is to simply copy this one and that's what you have to provide here got it that's what you have to provide i'm gonna have you can see this is the one which i have provided here so you have to provide your own api key this is how you can do that and now you have to get your own infura key again i'm going to give you this key in the final code but make sure to create your own it would be better because it has limit after a certain time it's not going to work so make sure to create one so to create one you can come back here and you can type infura infura and this one is a very popular web3 provider i hope you guys have known to this so make sure to create your account i'll simply log in to this because i already have my account you will come back to your dashboard and here you will find all the details about the api keys which you have created so these are the api keys which i have created recently so i will go back to here in the view stat and i can able to see all the details all the things which i have done so what I will do, I'll come back to the API keys. I'm going to create one. So I already created a lot of API key. So it's telling me to upgrade. So make sure to create one. And that's what you have to provide here. Or anyway, I'm going to provide all of these four credentials in the final source code. So you can use the exact API key because it's not going to cost me any money. 
So these are the things you have to replace only these two API key. After that, you have to provide the addresses of the deployed contract. So here we have this our ICO marketplace and this particular contract is only deployed to this two blockchain, this two test blockchain, Sofali and Polygon. That's why I have provided the address. And if you deploy your contract to the main network like Ethereum, Binance, Base, Polygon, then you have to simply provide the addresses in that network. So once you update that, here we have the test network and here we have the factory address for the main end because we are using the factory ABI of Uniswap to get the information. So you don't need to do anything here, just let it be like this. And here we have the Pinata API key and secret key which I have created from Pinata. So you have to get your own. I'm not going to give you this in the final source code. So to give, get it, all you have to do is to come back here, type Pinata and it's going to open this one. Now simply log into application and once you will done with that, you will have your own dashboard. I have created my account. So let, and here I'm back into my dashboard and here you will find all the files which you will upload to IPFS. So you have to create your own API key. So click on this API key and here you will find all the API key which you have created. So I have already created these two API key. So to create one, you can click on this new key and you can call whatever you want. So I'll say web three tools and I want to have admin level access. And from here you can set the limit. So I want to have thousand because that's the max limit I can set in this free API. After 1000, this API will not work. So I will simply click on this generate API key. And this is my free account. Okay. And here we got the Pinata API key and secret key. So this is the API key and this is the secret key. And it's also give you other method like JWT if you want to use in the backend. So I'm going to simply take this copy, come back here. And that's what you have to replace here. Same. This one is for the secret key and that's what you have to replace here so once you replace your api key is done with that so once you update your pinata key now comes to the solana so here we have set this price to one so when the user will use our platform to create token on solana blockchain we are charging one soul you can charge any money you can charge five or you can charge three but i'm going to charge one and here you have to provide the address the wallet address where you want to receive the fund so in case you can come back to the phantom wallet and you can pick any address. I'm simply logging to my phantom account and I'm receiving the fund in my very first account. So if I come back to the first account, I can simply copy the address and I can come back here and I'm going to simply paste the address here. So this is the address I have used my first account in which I'm going to receive all the fund. And here you have to provide your own RPC URL from Acmele. So to get it, all you have to do is to come back here, type Acmele and you will come back here, click, make sure to create your account. So click on the sign in. I already have my account. I'm going to give you this RPC endpoint in the final source code, but it has limit. So after a couple of days or after a couple of requests, it might not work. So you have to always provide your own. So come here and you can create a new app. Click here and here you can pick a network. So I'm going to create for Solana. So I'll take this Solana. And from here, you can pick for mainnet or devnet. So I will go with the mainnet and you can give whatever name you want. I'll say dollar thousand. I can give a description. So Solana main and create and it's going to create a project for you. Here you got it. Now you can click here and from here you can get the HTTP provider. So simply copy this one and that's what you have to simply provide here. Got it. So that's how you can get your Acmele RPC URL. Now you have to also provide your RPC endpoint for the devnet. So you can use the same Acmele platform for providing or you can go with this particular one. Type R A R K M. Click on the very first link and this is the very popular provider which allow you to give the RPC endpoint for multiple blockchain. You can also get it from Solana here as well for the mainnet. So if you come back to the Solana, click here and you will see the mainnet is in the premium version but we have to get the free one. So I can click on this devnet, copy it and that's what you can simply provide here which I have already done here. So you don't need to do anything. Now come back to the next one or the blockchain. And here you can set the price. So when the user will click on EVM compatible blockchain, we are charging this month for creating fees. And here we are charging the amount when the user will add their token in the MetaMask. And here we are charging the fee when the user will create an ICO. So this much fee we are charging. And here we are receiving all the font. So make sure you have to update all of this variable. That's the only place where you have to do the update and the rest of the application will work absolutely fine. So make sure to provide all of that. Now I have to show you a few more things. Close this one. 
Now come back to the context in the constants and here you can see if you come back here in the contract like ICO marketplace contract and here we have built the logic. So if you deploy your contract to the main network, this is the if else condition you have to build. So as I told you that this is the address we have to update. And I have deployed the contract to Polygon test network and Sofali. So I'm saying that if the network chain ID, as I told you, you know, if I take you back to the network here, network here in the network configuration, we have given the chain name and this data we are storing in the local storage. So we have to match it. So if the user select that network, we have to connect with that network. So that's what we are doing. Exactly. It's very simple. So we can come back here. We are saying that if chain ID is equal to this, then update this contract address to the polygon. But if the chain ID is to Sofali, then we have to simply update the address to Sofali, which is coming from here. Here. Okay. In the same way you can do with the main net. You can simply build if and statement, if else statement and simply add the addresses. That's the only thing you have to do here in the constant file. Now you can close this one and close this one. Now you can come back to the home page. And here you can see here we have to do the same thing. If network dot ID is equal to polygon MOI, as I told you, you know, network has this ID. So here we are simply updating the contract address. So when the user will be on the polygon, so we have to update the appropriate address for the polygon. But if they are on the Sofali or any other blockchain, we have to build this if else state condition. So this ID we have given already here in our network. So we have already this ID and based on that we are triggering. So if you check on the test network, we have the ID and that's the exact name I have given here and we are triggering here. So this is the if else statement we have built. If you deploy the contract to the main network, you have to do the exactly the same thing. Say network.id equal to Ethereum and you have to simply update it with the Ethereum address, which we have imported here from our context management. So if I go back to the constants, you can see here we have exported all the addresses. Now you can come back to the index file and there you can see we have built all of the logic. You don't need to do anything in here. Just let it be like that. Here we have this use effect, another one. In that we are checking for the network connection. Don't need to do anything in here. Here we have the use effect. And here we have built the multiple connection. We are updating this array. So if the user is connected with Ethereum, we are updating the Ethereum array. If the user is connected with the Polygon mainnet, we are updating the Polygon mainnet. And that's all is given here. So whatever service you want to provide, you can simply highlight here, highlight here and it will work fine. You can give the name and you can simply change this detail and user can click and it will update fine. So we are simply updating the data based on the network which user want to use it. So you don't need to do anything in here. All you have to do is to simply provide this information and it will work absolutely fine. You can come back to the profile section and here we have one more interesting thing which I want to show you and here we are fetching the balance. So that's the only thing you have to do here. I hope you guys have understood the architecture we have utilized in the project. It's pretty basic. All you have to do is to simply provide all of these details and the changes I have told you to do it and it will work absolutely fine. Now let me tell you how you can deploy the contract to blockchain and how you can interact. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to simply copy the entire contract. I'll come back, open a Remix ID and that's what I'm going to use for deploying the contract. So here I am. I go back here and I have this ICO marketplace. I'm going to simply select and remove and paste here. So I have this entire contract here in my Remix ID and I can simply deploy. So we got our entire contract here in Remix ID and it looks fine. Now I'm going to deploy the contract to the Polygon because I have forced in that. So if you don't have this forced, you can get it very easily. Open a new type, type Polygon forced. Click on the very first link and it's going to give you a couple of free forced which you can utilize to deploy your contract. So when you will come here for the very first time, it will tell you to join the Discord. So click on that and it will take you on the Discord page where you have to first authorize and join the Discord server. I have already joined their Discord server, so it's not going to ask me for joining. But in your case, it's going to ask you. So from here, you have to change this to Polygon POS. You have to get your wallet address in which you want to have fun. And I will simply paste here and click on the submit. And it's going to make a call and I have to simply confirm the transaction. The transaction might fail because I already have enough fund in my in my wallet address. But maybe the transaction will succeed. Let's see. Finger cross. 
So it's taking a lot of time. The transaction will fail because I already have enough fund in my MetaMask wallet. That's why it's creating this problem. But when you will do this transaction, you will have some 0.2 faucet which you can use to deploy the contract. So now what I will do, I'll come back here and I'm going to deploy my contract to Polygon MOI test network. Now I'm ready to deploy my contract to Polygon MOI test network. I hope you guys already have this network in your MetaMask. If you want to configure manually this network, you can do that. You can click on this add network. If it will take you here in the new page and from here you can see all the network which you have added or if you want to add a new network, click here and from here you can click on this add new network and here you have to provide all of these details which is given to all of you guys already. Come back here, go back to the Ethereum, go back to the network section and here we have the test. So you can simply copy the name and that's what you can provide. You can provide the RPC URL. So this is the RPC URL, symbol point, symbols, name and that's all you can provide. So fill out the detail and add it. So it will be reflect in your MetaMask. But I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. So close this one. Now I'm going to deploy my contract. So come back here in the deploy section. And from here, you have to change to injected provider MetaMask. I have Phantom Wallet as well, but I'm going to use MetaMask for that. And it's going to fetch out the chain ID and the balance on the account. So you can see it will fetch this particular account because I'm already connected with this account and I'm ready to deploy my contract. So I'll come here, click on this and here we got this this one and here this is the one which I have to deploy select this one and click on this deploy so I'm going to bring it up and click on this deploy and it's going to deploy our contract to the polygon so here it will open our metamask and I have to simply confirm the transaction and the transaction will complete let's open the metamask and let's see everything's working fine it's going to take a little bit time because this time we are deploying our contract to the polygon and it looks good so here the transaction is completed. Our contract deployed successfully. Now, if you come back here, here you got the address of your contract. So simply copy that one, copy that one, come back in the code. Now you can go back to the env file. So you can come here and all you have to do is to simply replace the address. So we have deployed to Polygon test network. So I'm going to simply replace the address here. That's the one thing. Now you can come back here. If you come here, you will see it's going to generate the artifact inside the artifact you will have the ABA of the contract so you can simply copy if you make any changes make sure to provide the updated ABA and this is how you can get it so simply select all copy come back here in the code come back in the code and you can go back to the context constants here and simply select all remove and paste so this is the ABA we got it so that's how you can deploy the contract to polygon test network. If you deploy to Sofali, you can simply deploy and provide the address here. Again, I don't have enough fund in my Sofali account, so I'm not able to do that. If I check my account to, for the Sofali, I don't have enough fund and I don't want to lose it because right now it's very hard to get it. But the process is exactly the same. Simply deploy it, copy the address and provide it here. You don't need to change the ABA because we haven't made any changes in the contract. So the ABA would be work absolutely fine for both the network. In the same way, if you deploy on any other blockchain, you can simply provide the address. Once you provide the address, you can simply come here in the context and here you have to build this if else statement. So if you deploy to the main network, you can say network.chainid equal to main network and simply provide that address. So that's the only thing you have to do. Now simply close this one, close this one. I hope you guys have understood. Now we are ready to interact. So I'm simply come back here, open my terminal. I'm going to simply clear my tab and simply type npm run dev and it will start the application because we have already installed the modules packages now you can come back here let's click on the new tab click on this localhost and here you will find that our application is loading it's look good and this time we are connected with the polygon moi and if i click on this ico marketplace you will see there is nothing in here because we have changed the account but the moment i will switch back to the sofali you will see that it has the ICO. If I click here, let me reload the page. If I click here and you can see this is the two ICO we have created previously. So once you will update the address, everything would be changed and it will work fine. So you can simply come here and you can create here. So everything worked fine. So let's come back here. Let's change the network and let's create an ICO to our newly contract which we have deployed to show you as a final time. So we are connected with that. Now I'm going to simply click on this. Let's come back here in the creator token. So let's come back to the profile and I have to get the token. So here we have the creator token and I want to use this token. 
So I'm going to simply copy this one. And this is the one which I'm going to use for creating the ICO in the new contract. So let me see which account I'm connected to. I'm connected to this. Let's click on this. And you can see it's updated. The address is updated. If you come back here in the in the environment variable, our address is updated. 0 F9. And that's is updated 0 F9. Close this one. Now I have to create an ICO. So I'll simply click here. I have to get the address first. So let me get it. I forgot to get that copy. Now I can come back to the ICO creator. I can paste that address of the token and it's going to fetch the information about the token. Just wait and here we got it. I can set the price to very low and I can say create ICO and it's going to create our ICO in our newly deployed contract. Here it says that I don't have enough fund so the transaction will fail. So I have to switch my account to less one and this time the transaction will take place. Let's click on this create and it's going to make a call and here it's saying that I don't have enough fund. So I don't have enough fund to make the transaction because it's going to call to transaction. First it's going to transfer and then it's going to create. So that's how you can do that. So I hope you guys have understood that how everything is coming together and what are the things you have to change once you will get the final source code. So this is the powerful application we're going to build in the complete project. So make sure to go through the entire structure we have designed. All you have to do is to simply update your environment variable. So all the changes you have to do here and it will work absolutely fine. So I'm going to provide this as it is in the final source code. If you deploy your contract, this particular ICO contract to the Ethereum, make sure to provide the address. And that's the only thing you have to do. If you make the changes in the contract, then you have to provide the updated ABI, which I have told you how you can get it and how you can provide it here. And you have to also build the if statement here for updating the contract address. That's the only thing you have to do with that. I'm done with this. I hope you guys have understood and learned something very valuable. Soon this complete project will come on the channel, which you guys can follow. With that, I'm ending this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.